My fellow citizens, over the past several weeks, our country's security situation has hit turbulence and in the process, your confidence in the stability of my administration has been shaken. The buck stops with me in situations like this, and as your Commander-in-Chief, the following are the steps I have taken to remedy this prevailing state of affairs. Number one, in the recent sitting of the National Security Council, I have directed all service chiefs to conduct an audit of their respective troop strengths and weapons arsenal and report to the Speaker in two weeks' time. Number two, together with the Leader of Government Business and the Leader of Opposition, my office has co-drafted a Domestic Security and Border Patrol Bill, which will set aside 5 billion shillings over the coming two financial years to increase the remuneration for our immigration, intelligence and field force and counterterrorism police officers. They will also receive enhanced training courtesy of our existing partnerships with development partners. Number three, I am also obliged to report to you, fellow Ugandans, that the fo that following budget cuts on the less productive areas of our budget and public administration wage bill, the high court and subordinate courts will now be staffed and financed with up to 85% of their current needs on a rolling basis over the next two financial years. This will resolve the criminal case backlog problem we've experienced for years now. I have received very helpful advice from the Faculty of Information Technology on what improvements to make to our digital security platforms and have tasked the Minister of Home Affairs to support the initiative and report to myself, the Speaker and the Chief Justice in two weeks' time. Finally, the police and sister agencies have set up neighbourhood watch protocols including 24-hour hotlines, amber alerts for missing children, and the responders for emergency situations of kidnap, abduction, or murder. I request the chairperson of the Committee on National Economy of Parliament to support this effort with the necessary appropriations and draft legislations. I have impressed upon the leaders of all ministries, departments, and government institutions the urgency of this matter, and will see to it that all these targets are achieved. In the course of the Great Lakes Security Summit that begins tomorrow, I will share these efforts with my colleagues so that we can build a regional effort against violent crime and its attendant challenges. On behalf of my administration, I'd like to extend my sincere condolences to those who have lost loved ones um, in the recent spate of violence, but that our institutions will take charge of this situation and restore our country to law and order and sanity. We are stronger together. We owe a safer society to our children. I'd like to thank you citizens as well for your daily efforts at building this country and making it a great place to live in. Thank you all and good evening.